Welcome back everybody to another video and today's video is I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of stuff on how to edit on Sony Vegas 15. I'm not sure if it's pro. Um, it does. Oh, yep. Sony Vegas pro 15. So this is going to be pro. The title is not going to say pro. The title is going to be how to edit, how to edit on Sony Vegas, like a pro me. I edit on Sony Vegas every day on my videos and I'll be editing this video on this simple software right here. It is 15. Um, you guys should obviously know that it is Sony Vegas 15 and not anything else, but this will apply to um, a lots of other Sony Vegas that were um, actually out in the past such as Sony Vegas 13 14 maybe even 12 if they have ones I don't know I only use 15 first things first you guys are obviously going to want to add a video if you guys don't know how to add a video you can go ahead and go on the top right corner right here and it says control O or something or you guys can go to file and find that right here you're gonna want to go ahead and click on that or you go ahead and use the Call of Duty video because it is clean it's not edited I was gonna use my spiral video but but, so you guys actually started out with this now you guys should have a pretty perfect let me grab my headphones real quick you guys should have a video right here in your display you uh, actually this your display so you guys are going to go here and go ahead and go to best and put full quality um, and then you'll actually get it to be full quality you know you guys should have a video right here and it should be 100% so now, now that you have the video if you got okay so I'm gonna actually honestly show you how to uh, get this to look you know nice sharp stuff like that so this is what I do I go to effect and I go here and I find sharpen and then you're gonna go ahead and do a, sat a saturation adjust you guys don't want to add uh, too much of a sharpen because if you guys if you add too much of a sharpen it's gonna be pretty uh, it's gonna look weird and then you guys are gonna go ahead and so go ahead and put a light or whatever you would like on your sharpen you can do light heavy medium or you can do uh, just have one um, a custom one right here and you can also save it this is how you save presets if you have one and you worked really hard on your preset make sure you, you save it because if you don't save it trust me you are gonna hate yourself because you're gonna have to do it again but this is just um, one little bar of sharpen and I put it on light all the time because it actually does make it look good. So what you also have is you have your saturation. You can also mess with the satur saturation too. You guys don't really have to mess with the saturation because what I do is I go here and I click on um, boost midtones. And when you guys go ahead and put boost midtones, it actually adds it as you guys can see there. Um, and it looks per it looks good. And uh, make sure you do that before you start pushing um, um, and splitting your things, cutting stuff out. Because if you do that, you'll actually have to add the same effects to each every one of the things that you cut and let me tell you something it could be a hassle to do that because when I when I'm done with my videos there's cuts throughout the whole thing and then I add my out what you guys are gonna do is you guys can actually turn it up right here if you guys want to turn it up and turn it down so like like this you guys can I even do that so it's pretty nice with how you can turn it up and it also looks good look how good that that actually it actually looks I'm actually recording in 1080p 60 FPS right now and um, that is actually what it is so if you guys actually want to go ahead and cut a piece out of it say say we don't want uh, your guys is uh, a wheel on the little mouse you guys can actually zoom into it I should have told you this before you can zoom in pretty far in and you guys can do it and you obviously can do it right here too just go ahead and drag do it the way uh, do it any way you guys would like I simply do this because it's a little bit easier but the wheel on um, your little mouse wheel um, will zoom in to get a finer cut so say we don't want um, this part right here all we'd have to do is go ahead and push s on one and go ahead and just go back to the part that you don't want and say you right here and then go ahead and put s again S is to split the uh, things. If you don't want the stuff in here, you want to put S. Go ahead and put delete on your computer and go ahead and just drag it down. Then now you have your first cut, which is pretty easy, but you guys would obviously, um, this is just a demonstration. Obviously, you guys would want to cut what you are actually wanting to trim out of your video. So this is just a little briefly explain on the basics on how Sony Vegas works. So we can go ahead and add a little, as you can tell, we added a little cut right here. So as you guys are going to see, you guys are going to see a cut in the video. So as it happens right now, see, and then there's the cut. That's also, that's, that's the way you cut out things. Now, the way you want to cut out things, if you want to get a fine cut, you guys are going to actually want to go ahead and zoom in and then cut it in the right spots. So that's how I actually cut out my... <gasps> Bredson, so I'm sorry I did that, but I had to, I had to show you guys because I, for some reason, my microphone picks up my like uh, breathing in a lot for some reason, and I don't know how to get rid of it uh, on my microphone, um, on my microphone's behalf. But yeah, you guys obviously know I go ahead and I'm gonna work on that stuff later on. Now, if you guys actually want to zoom in, you guys are actually want to go ahead and actually split if, like an actual like thing. So say you want to go ahead and zoom in so until so you can see the little thing and see you guys are gonna, actually going to click on this little crop uh, logo right here now if you guys actually want to see the preview um, go ahead and go on the area right here and you guys are gonna actually going to go ahead and okay so where did, I, where did I cut it it's right here 
you guys are going to take this and just go ahead and put it down. Just slowly, you can zoom in as much as you want, you can zoom in as much as you want, and then if you actually go ahead and take it, you have some things right here, you can actually do some custom stuff like that too, and you still have your things right up here. But this is how you zoom in, um, say like you want to zoom into, uh, I don't know, something like clutch, like, like, I don't know, say you have like a lot of, say you have a lot of stuff right here, so this is how you zoom in, um, obviously you would want to zoom in professionally, like, not like that, but see how, how, like, how, like, say if you're on like a really high round and you want to zoom into it, go ahead and zoom into it, and this is what it would look like uh, if you go through, and say, uh, see, and obviously that would happen in your life, you know, hey, look, look what round I'm on and stuff like that. Obviously, you'd want to do a little, um, a, a, that a lot faster, because if you don't uh, do that a lot faster, it would be pretty bad if you, if, if it was just, not, if, if it was like a long, like, zoom in. So that's pretty, you know, stuff like that. So we're going to actually use the, the next demonstration and, and, you know, stuff like that on, stuff like that, we're, um, on this clip. What the hell am I talking about? So... FX on audios. If you guys want an FX on an audio, like all these ones that you can have right here, you guys can actually add distortion in all this other one. I'm just going to go ahead and show you reverb because reverb is like the main one that people like to use when something happens or something. I don't know. So that will actually load up. It's obviously going to make my computer be weird, but uh, you guys probably can't see it because it's on my other screen. So I'm going to drag it up right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just add some reverb. So if you guys want to actually play it through, you, get, you guys actually can. Let me actually move that. And you guys actually can. So. Uh, you guys can actually go ahead and put bright hall Obviously you can hear it a little bit very long haul You can still hear it a little bit not very um, Effective all right But there is reverb there. I'm just saying it actually works a lot better on voices And yes, you guys can actually record your voice. You'd actually want to go ahead and click on this little uh, Record icon right here and you guys can go ahead and record your own thing with your own microphone so if I actually go ahead and uh, hopefully this doesn't mess up my OBS, because if it does, then you'd want to uh, not do that. So here, here is um, the record button. So go ahead and click on the record button. And uh, it's going to tell you, uh, yes, do you want, uh, you know, all that other stuff, you know, 720p. All right, so yeah, I guess I'll put it in documents. Actually, let me actually browse, and uh, I guess I'll just put it in download so I can, or, uh, so I can go ahead and uh, find it. So, okay. And, you're, and here we go, we are recording, yes you guys can hear the microphone, and the video is going to play in the background. As you guys can tell, this is actually recording, and everything's everything's okay, or everything's actually working pretty fine. Now, you do, you will uh, need a, a bit of a good computer to do this, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, and, you're, and here we go, we are recording, so that's what it sounds like. Now, I can actually show you the reverb on this one. Because if I show you the reverb on this one, it actually might show it, show it better. So here's take one. It's going to be called take one. Um, I, there's no need in naming it. You guys should know which one's which. And almost did not respond. I don't know if you guys seen that. But here we go. We want to actually go ahead and put long hallway. And we can go ahead and play. Okay. And, you're, and here we go. We are recording. Yes, you guys can hear the microphone. And the video is going to play. In and as you guys you, you can tell that you can go ahead and... Um, you know, cut out your, you know, cut out stuff and also add reverb and some effects. And push delete if you guys don't want it there and you guys can go ahead here and right click and actually just delete track. You guys don't need the track. So for the next things, there's actually a few things that actually people really want to know on, uh, Sony Vegas. And that is how do you freeze frame? Now I, I, I don't, I, I, how do you freeze the frames? Okay. So I'm going to actually show you how to free the, fr freeze the frames. So if you guys wonder what this is, this is just gain. It's going to turn it down. Uh, this is gain on this. It's just going to make it dark. As you guys, that's not really that important. So, how do you actually freeze the frame? So, there's a there's a way you can actually freeze the frame. You go ahead and cut a little piece out in here. And there's actually properties. I'm not sure if it's actually properties because you guys can go ahead and put lock, I guess. And I'm not sure if that's actually going to lock the frame. No, it's just, it's just going to lock it. So... There is a way to actually go ahead right here, and you would want to go ahead and to put insert, remove envelope, and you want to go to velocity. You go to velocity, you're going to actually want to go here and put this to zero, if you if you, if you guys can see this little green line. Alright everybody, so I actually figured it out, so what you actually want to go ahead and do, it should say velocity on the little thing right here, uh, but it actually doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this clip right here, because they actually been actually split, and see how it's just staying there? That's what you want to do. So go ahead and go back there, put that right there, and it should be actually be good to move. But I'm not sure it's not moving, so 
I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm still a little bit of a beginner. So we're going to go ahead and do, go ahead and go to just, again, do a little space. Go ahead and push S. When you push S, it, you should find a, um, again, the, uh, um, I didn't click on the right. The, uh, it's like an envelope thing. I don't know where it's at anymore. Yeah, okay. So insert envelope, put velocity, and it should actually only be through one of these. You can go ahead and put velocity. It actually shows it, and it says, it says 24%. So you guys don't want to do that. If you guys want to actually freeze frame the way it is, go ahead and actually click on this. And, you know, obviously you can do that, but you, you actually want to set it to zero. So go ahead and, and uh, right click and set velocity to zero. Once it's set to zero, you should not have it moving. And there it is. It is, it is a frozen frame and it should be doing this for the whole zero velocity. The sound's obviously going to stay there because you, you didn't freeze the, um, that. So that is one thing that you guys can do. That's how you freeze the velocity. Now we're going to actually go ahead and just go ahead and if you guys want, actually want to just restart over, go ahead and actually put right here, a uh, new empty project right here, and then you guys don't want to save it. Once it's new and empty, you go ahead and open up your stuff again. Go ahead and out empty out all the stuff that you uh, want to. I'm going to go ahead and add the call dude back. And here it is. So, obviously, once you guys add a new project, it's not going to be sharp again, but I'm not going to do that because I already showed you. If you guys want to actually add text to your things, uh, you're actually going to add, add a, uh, a, a font that doesn't show up on the original text. You guys actually want to go ahead and go to um, Media Generations and actually Legacy Text. Go ahead and just grab the little the first sample text that you see because it doesn't really matter which one you have, and it's it's gonna take a little bit to load, but um, other than that, if you guys have a fast computer, then it should be all right. Go ahead and zoom into the uh, obviously this thing right here because that's your text. Go ahead and put it right here, and it should show up on your video or yeah the video. Go ahead and actually po post anything, um, you know, po like type anything like so type. There, there, there's a word. There's not a word. Um, it's not a word. Go ahead and actually go. If you guys want um, all any of your uh, things right here, obviously, if you guys know me, I like this one. This is my favorite uh, font right here. And go ahead and take. And you guys can actually change the frame size to the font. And you guys can change um, effects. Effects is uh, pretty much the same thing, uh, but you know, adding some, uh, you know, a few things um, to your thing or to your, you know, font. So if you guys want, actually want to go ahead and put like a different color. Go ahead and actually just put a different color. I'm gonna go ahead and use red, and as you guys can see, red right here. Properties, obviously, properties is the same thing. Text color, uh, you know, text uh, background color, you know, text properties, uh, tracking, scaling, uh, leading. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really mess with these. I just use the, uh, the, um, the font and uh, placement. Placement, you can uh, obviously do that wherever you want it to be placed. Put it anywhere around where you want it on the screen because that's just, you know, like say if you want it down here, you guys can do that. Now, obviously, if you guys want the font to be smaller like that, or if you guys want it to be bigger like this, then it's not going to show up very well on your computer or on, on the video. But hey, it's right there. And you guys can also add um, like fades or a transition. And obviously, transitions are always going to be right here. So if you guys actually want to actually add a transition to the um, thing, so I go with the. Uh, dissolves or I go with crossfade and I'm gonna go with this dissolve right here go ahead and add that transition right there it's gonna it's gonna load up and obviously just exit that out because you don't need to mess with that should actually fade in and there's the transition to the lettering the lettering is actually pretty cool you guys don't need to have the fade in transition but I do anyways because I don't know I don't really put uh, transitions in there so if you guys don't want your uh, your uh, wording track again obviously go ahead and go back to delete track all right so this actually video, video is going to be a little bit longer than i thought but hey now this is what i do when i add my outro i add my outro like this and i go here and i grab my outro and i go ahead and it actually fades in to a thing so what i do is i actually go to it and i actually go ahead and uh put split now, if you guys actually want to split the uh, the clip, the video clip from the actual audio, go ahead and push Control U, and then delete it, and then there, and then you have a splitted thing, and you split it um, once, and then it is split from the actual track or the video clip, 
go ahead and I, uh, I put this like that and then I put this one uh, the audio track just with this one because it's about the same um, thing and then I actually go ahead and I add a dissolving um, actually a zoom in and then I add the dissolving uh, thing right here I had a dissolving uh, what you call that transition so it should be all right and if I turn this down if I turn it up just a bit it should be good Things were bad I'm you guys can actually hear it if I turn this down and here's my outro this is what it does you guys can hear it a little bit in the background not too much and then obviously it's gonna because it's counting down 35 it's lagging when, I, when it usually lags for me I just go ahead and pause it and I let, I try to let it play. Now my outro is not, um, but as you guys can tell, you guys can actually tell that there was a tr uh, transition there. And see, if you guys can see the transition, it was kind of freezing, but the transition actually made it a little bit smoother. Now the freezing won't be inside your video guys when you actually render it. The, uh, if you guys have a freezing, it says the frames, it has a little dot dot dot. It's trying to load the frames in um, frame by frame as you guys can tell. So let it just do that. Um, it, your freezing won't be in your video. Uh, it should be all right. And uh, you have some transitions. You have your outro. And you can also uh, mess around with your outro and intro right here. Um, freeze that cursor. And you can put um, editable. Edit. Edible. Yeah. Edit visit, uh, visible button set. Um, this actually. I'm not sure. So this actually shows. I think it shows all the buttons that uh, is on the video right here. So you can see event FX, event cross, crop, what that is, and media generation, what is, um, I think that, uh, active information. So if you add that, it's obviously going to actually add buttons right here, I'm pretty sure. Um, freeze that cursor. So if I put OK, and it adds right, right there. So if you actually want to freeze that cursor, you guys actually can put that, and it'll add your velocity to the video, to the actual video without having to go to inverse em or uh, inverse envelope and actually put velocity and stuff like that so that's really it's honestly helpful um if you guys don't want to keep going back so if you guys want to go ahead and um delete the uh that or actually control z if you messed up you guys actually want to go ahead and you guys are actually going to have to go ahead and click and actually remove the velocity that, that is on it you can't do it from right here so pretty much Editing is not really hard if you actually go ahead and you're actually trying hard on it and you take your time. It's pretty much, uh, there's nothing really to it. It's easy. It, it will take you some time to get um, uh, used to if you guys are just new to uh, Sony Vegas. Um, I'm by no means a expert at Sony Vegas, but I, I'm, I think I'm getting, to me, I think I'm getting a little bit more better. And if you guys actually want to go ahead, I'm going to actually show you one more last thing. I know there's a lot more to go uh, through, but... Uh, you guys actually want to go ahead and actually if you guys want to add a fade Go ahead and go to the top right corner to this little blue piece right here You guys should see this little thing and go ahead and just drag it out and you should get a fade And th this is how I actually start my up my videos. Anyways, I start them up with a fade But not with this long of a fade this 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 is just too much. It's too long of a fade I put fade I put fade fade ins um, all the time and then I put a um, thing right here. I put a um, dissolve transition at the end of my videos because it's a little bit more you know a little bit more you know it's a little bit more smooth when it gets to my outro and stuff like that i actually added if you guys don't uh, if you guys don't know i actually added back my old song outro back when i was a long time ago when, when my channel was new but uh yeah that, besides all the points that is how that is the very basics of sony vegas it's not very hard I'm not, I, I can't cover everything in this video uh, because if I do, the video will actually be really long, really, really long. So if you guys actually want to know how to render, go ahead and go right here to this icon right here, render as, click on it, and I'm going to show you how you render your videos uh, normally as you would. So if you guys want an MP3 audio, you guys would actually go ahead and put MP3 and put highest quality V. VBR studio audio, and you guys would actually want to go ahead and uh, put it right here. So I'd browse. And I usually have the uh, these, and I, I usually have them uh, located in edited videos. I usually put them in edited videos. No, we can go ahead and delete that. I usually have um, them saved in edited videos, yes, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, so edited videos, it's going to save in your edited videos. Name it whatever you want. You guys, just my, mind you that you can't go ahead and you can't put, um, you know, dots or like uh, uh, slashes because it won't let you. So... 
Render options, you guys can actually send some render options. Uh, render loop region only. Uh, stretch video until it fills the frame. If you don't do that, you will have these little black lines on the top of your, uh, on the side of your video. So if I undo that, and I uh, go ahead and, uh, yeah, if you render that, it's not, it's just gonna be, um, again, do not uh, letterbox, but it's not gonna fill the whole frame of your video. And then save loudness, log file, media, I don't know what that does, but what I do is I actually edit, uh, I actually uh, render in MP3 first on my um, uh, raw videos, then I obviously go to uh, uh, Adobe Audition, and then I go there. But if you guys actually want to go ahead and actually uh, render it to MP4 to upload it to YouTube, you guys can go ahead, go here, MP4, and here you got f uh, 4K from all the way down. Um, sometimes when my videos are uh, 60 FPS, I will actually render them in uh, 1080p internet, HD, 1080p, uh, 50, 60 FPS, or and when they're not, they are, I usually end, uh, render them in internet, HD, 29 frames per second, which is just 30. Standard 30 frames per second. So that's how you render. Um, and if you guys obviously do that, you guys are obviously going to have to wait until it renders. It's going to render. It's going to take a while. But remember to go ahead and um, take and do this. When you want to render, outline it and then push the render button. I'm sorry I didn't say that before. But that is it, everybody. I hope you learned something in this video today. If you haven't, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I actually want to see how much uh, of you guys I actually helped in this video. This uh, video was actually meant for you guys to actually learn something in this video. Um, to, I also want to see, tell me if you guys actually uh, actually edited a pretty good video and uh, that these actually helped you actually edit videos on your channel. Because this is what this is ma usually made for. Uh, I used to uh, edit on... Um, uh, the PlayStation Share Factory, and when I actually updated to this, I was like, wow, this is just so much better. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you guys liked it, let me know if it helped, if it didn't, and, uh, yeah, smash that like button in the face, and let me know down, uh, and uh, don't let me know, and subscribe, do not hit the bell notification, because I don't care about the bell, I just, you know, just, you know, subscribe, because I do a lot of videos like this, um, I never, I, that's like the longest time I've actually said that, so, yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching, that is the end of this tutorial, and uh, yeah, I might have more in the future, and I might uh, do a little bit more uh, stuff on Sunday Vegas. Yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.